Yasha Allah, Yahawa, Allah Hayyanawa, Yahawa, Akhud, Shalom Yasha Allah, peace Israel, Call Halayim La, Allah Hayyanawa, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Racha Hakwadash, double honor to our elder apostles, the elder bishops, the great millstone, peace blessed to the elect, all right, the house of David as well as the different men, women, and little ones, the little boys and little girls, whom Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, is gonna have mercy on, all right? Getting into it, man, I pray this is edifying. Hebrews chapter 13, verse two. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. That word unawares means in disguise. You know, an angel, an angel can pull up on you in disguise and you don't even know it, okay? Which uh, I believe that has happened to us in our walk in this truth on more than one occasion. All right, I, I believe through the spirit and mercy of the Lord, okay? Through the spirit and power and mercy of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, I believe that has happened more than one time. The Lord has had His heavenly messengers appear to us, and we didn't even know it. But you'll realize it after the fact, okay? Because something I've uh, came to realize, you know, through the mercy, you know, and spirit of the Lord, is anytime one of these messengers come to you, <laughs> well. They, they do exactly, uh, well, the word angel. Um, it's from the Hebrew word malaak, and it means messenger. They give you a message. They don't just show up. It's not random. It's a reason why they show up, and they were sent. It's like you had a word, a apostle, you know, the, the teachers of this word, beginning with our elder apostles and elder bishops, you know, an apostle was sent out. You know, they're, they're sent out to uh, teach with these angels that they're sent out from the heavens to do what? To, uh, you know, do the work of the Lord. All right. But, but it's, it's a different way they do the work. OK. An angel is one sent a messenger. That's someone that's sent. And the message can come in different ways. It could be verbal. It could be nonverbal, which honestly you want it to be. You want it to be uh, merciful because an angel can take you out, you know, but um, just, you know, quick account, man, because I'm at the uh, plantation. But, um, you know, I was just meditating this morning because, I, I, you know, I fell asleep. I was, I was preparing some videos. I'm going to just get them done during the uh, Shabbat, Lord willing, because I, I was watching the elder brother, Yashawamba, the video he did on uh, that bug out. You have the Maccabees. Hey, stay away from that dude, man. That dude, a goddamn extortioner. Okay. And, hey, and we love our king, King David, but King David can't save us, man. Only Yahweh Shai can save. Yahweh Shai. Only he can save. But, you know, um, I was watching the other one but last night and fell asleep. But the spirit was on me. I was thinking about one time I was in Chicago. This had to been like 2009, 2010. And we was teaching on State and Adams. It wasn't all of us, but a few of us brothers. We was on State and Adams. And um, I believe it was my brother, Lahab. And uh, the brother Ba'ara, the elder brother Ba'ara, it was just a few of us, you know. But we were teaching, and long story short, actually, you know what? I want to say before we started up, before we started teaching, um, it was Ephraimite. Now, he, he could have been another northern tribe, but he was a northern tribe. He had said, uh, Yahweh known Yahweh Shai. And he was like, uh, he's coming, you know. That's what he said. He and I never saw the guy again. And back during that time, you didn't see a lot of northern tribes. You know, but it's show, man. Hey, we about to go home, brothers.